For decades now, Christians have been used to the routine of waking up to go to church, and Sunday mornings have been that of worship, word, and prayer. But this is the new face of a typical Sunday morning in Lagos, Nigeria, today. Empty. Thanks to the ban of church gatherings following the outbreak of the dreaded coronavirus disease, the Ezelioras family typify a typical Lagos Christian family coping with a new method of attending church services, virtual church. For two months, churches have been shut down in Africa's commercial city, Lagos. I thank God for the person that will remind you that your duty is not to question your circumstances. So this is like the first time I'm not going to a physical church. Although there have been um, services or some kind of concerts or shows that we, wa we could watch online before, but never because of this pandemic. Uh, when the ban on churches was placed, uh, you know, first we they were saying we needed that uh, that the gathering shouldn't be more than 20 or thereabout. Then first I was contemplating, should I go to make up the 20? So what if I get there and there are 20 people already? So I, I decided to stay back. They say, though virtual churches are engaging, it does not feel exactly the same. Like we've seen the pastor, he's like he's been here, wherever two or three are gathered, he said he will be there. And we're listening to the man of God speaking. You know, it's just like being in the physical church, it's just imagining you being in the physical church and then you're going on and it's been it's been wonderful the only thing i miss is just coming in with the others that is the other brethren meeting with them what i don't particularly like about online service is the absence of the society absence of gathering in church and meeting with friends and people that you know and you've grown up with in the church. The power of God has been so powerful even on the online church because you know the um, the power moves everywhere. He's everywhere. Even via the online I still feel the great um, connection because even after church I still come back home. I still worship God and do other things. So it's just like you know doing that all over again. Worship and the word are not the only things done online. Offerings and tithes are also taking online. Poor network service are in major trouble with online church for scores of worshippers. Okay, I feel the glitch in the network is, is how would I put it, um, a major downside during the online church because um, having to switch from one medium to another, like having to switch from using the laptop to using the phone causes a form of distraction like okay we are focused on one now we have to like turn to the next one so i feel like um the network providers should make, make it make at least make it better as the number of covid 19 cases spike up across africa some christian artists have also taken full advantage of facebook instagram lives and youtube to reach the audience um it's not the same but we we actually are coping tonight I'm ministering at uh, 11 o'clock um, UK time, but in a church in Canada tonight. So, I mean, we're still doing it, but it's just not, especially not the same. It's a continuation. If most artists are on social media, they do connect with their fans in one way or the other. But this redefines the mode of uh, reaching out to, you know, in the gospel and reaching out to the people through other platforms and boards. So this is the creative moments for every person in the creative industry. What can you do beyond the walls of church? As Mike said, now it's no longer about inside buildings. It's about outdoors. I have a 14-man band. I mean, it's not the same when you go and minister and you be able to pay them. You know, I'm now doing it alone. You know, it's, it's just, it's, it's not the same. But the thing is, as an artist, if um, it won't, it would. Ne it's not the same. Let me just say that very clearly. But also, um, 
I've got my music online, you know, uh, we've got music online that people are streaming and paying for. I've just released an album, you know. Um, we're still ministering, like we said. We're still doing it. And people still give you honorariums. People still bless you, you know. But it's not, obviously, it's not the same as when you're physical. The power of uh, events and uh, meetings and church programs and services can never be underestimated in any society. We have all realized that we need each other and music plays a big role in soothing, in healing, in bringing people together. And that's one thing I miss. We all miss seeing people, talking to them, you know, experiencing the atmosphere. Amidst uncertainties of a definite date for churches to resume across Nigeria, famous clergyman Bishop Kedahosa encourages Christians who are adjusting to virtual services to keep the hope alive. Nothing will ever happen and make God say, Jesus! Because he knows that everything is going to happen. He has everything planned. He has the response planned. And he always has um, life ahead of us planned. So... When it comes to church and church having to, um, to have changed our formats and the way we, did, we do things, it wasn't a surprise to God. And the way I, I look at it is that the church, the mission of the church was never really to gather people together as much into one place. Now, that's something that we do. That's what has worked for us for a long time. And so when that, when that um, style, that business, business model, so to speak, changed, it did not change who God was. It didn't change who God is. So the church building may be closed now, but church is not closed. I would say, dear Christian, this time that we're in right now may have seemed to be a chance for us to lose our connection. But I want to encourage you, please, 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 do not lose your connection to that which connects you to the Almighty God. Okay, so if your connection is your pastor, if your connection is your devotional, if your connection is whatever it is that connects you to God, do not lose that connection. Because you see, God knew this was coming, and he has a plan for you beyond this, this, this epidemic. Mary Chinda for Plus TV Africa.